I think what's so interesting about this film is how much the concept has been so intriguing to people from the start that they hear about a movie where multiple actors are playing Bob Dylan to a degree where one is a, an actress and one is an African-American young, young actor. So they know <clears throat> that there's already a sort of a playfulness about it, about the whole idea of telling a, a famous person's story. Um, and there's total, in, you know, there's intrigue and curiosity about how, to, how does that work? What's that going to be like, you know? But what's so cool is that that's why people want to see the movie. I started to read the biographies and just found myself burrowing deeper into the Dylan biography and life and encountered this consistent point of view about him in whatever one read, and it would become extremely evident when you'd see clips of him in the 60s, um, is that he was the serial changer. He was this person who couldn't reside in the same skin at times for what seemed like longer than a few months. And he has this bizarre androgyny about him during that time, and I thought a woman playing that role could bring that out. Of course, what Kate does with that is so much more than a physical kind of trick. And she gets so deeply inside this guy so that his wit, his savagery, his complexity, his restlessness is something that you really travel through with her.